Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to do a quick art journal layout using stencils and collage tissue. So I'm starting in my Din uh, Dilutions journal and this is a page that I was just using up some excess paint on so it's a real mess in my journal. And I'm just now going in with some liquid acrylics. These are from Finnebau in all sorts of different colours. This uh, yellow is a bit magic because it goes out and looks orange, um, olive green but when you actually spread it out you get a beautiful yellow colour. So um, I didn't really have an, well I did, sorry, you can see to the side I've got this um, napkin sitting there which I'll show you in more detail in a minute. Um, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do on this page but I knew I wanted to use that napkin so I just wanted to do a fun background. And this I suppose was inspired a little bit by um, Lisa Oxley if you ever follow her channel, um, Scrap Witch Lisa on Instagram, she does a 100 day art challenge and does amazing things so please check her channel out because it's pretty awesome. So what I'm doing is going in with a wet wipe over the top of this to wipe off some ink. Now the reason I did this was the purple that I put on I really loved but it was really really intense and I, it just took over the page a little bit so I wanted to get rid of that and as soon as I um, put the stencil through and rubbed it off I thought oh, I love this I need to do this more on my page. So now I'm going in with some straight acrylics and I'm using the Dina Wakeley acrylic paints. I was just trying to find them. So I'm going in with some brighter colours to brighten up the page again. So I've got this turquoise blue. I think I'll go in with some magenta as well. Um, and again I'm going to do the same technique. Put on the paint and then rub some off. So you've got all those beautiful colours from the background going through but it just blots them out a little bit. Um, and it gives you a really cool texture and something interesting in the background. You can see also on the second page um, I'm stamping off the back of my stencil so I'm getting some effects on the other page as well which I really love. Um, one of my favorite things about working in an art journal is doing something like this that you can work two things at once um, and come up with something you really love for the price of one. It, it just makes everything a lot easier. So again I'm just going in. This is a uh, stencil from the crafters workshop it's a new one I got um, I don't think it's a new one in their range but um, I am pretty obsessed with circles I just love how it comes up um, probably one of my favorite bits in this page is that little bit of turquoise on the top left hand corner where you've got the yellow peeking through um, it just really appeals to me. Now the reason this is working so well is those um, fluid acrylics, the liquid acrylics, dry really really quickly and they've got a semi-gloss um, feel to them. So obviously the acrylics you put over the top you can wipe them off more easily and get a really crisp image. You can certainly do this with normal acrylics, it works exactly the same, just dry them off in between so you get a nice um, dry coat that you can work with. So this is the expanded uh, tissue, so you've got these four beautiful images of Frida with all the animals around, it's beautiful and bright. Um, I'd gone to dinner at my mum's house and she had these tissues and I may have put one in my handbag and today's Mother's Day so I'm filming this in advance and um, I went to mum's house and her Mother's Day present to me was a whole pack of these tissues for myself so um, I've, I've got quite a lot now to play with which is good. So I'm just going in with some gel medium and gluing this down. I put some in the background and now I'm just going over top to make sure it's really adhered to the page. And while I, and again in retrospect, looking at it, I quite like it just the way it is, glued onto the page. I can never leave anything like this, so I wanted to do something and sort of frame it up a little bit and blend it into the page, I suppose, a little bit more. Now there's two ways I could have done that. I could have gone back with the similar coloured paint, so the turquoise and the magenta and sort of painted it onto the tissue and rubbed it off again. I've chosen to actually just go in with white and sort of paint a rough frame around the tissue, going off a little bit to the edges, leaving that top and bottom and then going back in and rubbing it off. So I'm getting some of the tissue coming through and some of the background coming through. And you can see how that sort of blends it into the page somewhat. I'm also again using up the leftover paint on my page because I can and just going through and using it up on the other page. So once I've done that, now I'm just drying it off to make sure everything's dry. 
I was really playing around with the other page. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, if I wanted to have this as a double spread or not. Um, again, if I wanted to have it as a double spread, I could have put a quote over there. And certainly that live inspired um, stencil on its own on the other page would have looked really good. I chose to do this as a single page. So I'm going in with this inspired at the bottom. And I'm using the parts of the top stencil to create sort of my own quote. So I'm just going in with a purple and the reason I chose that is because it is the colour in the background. Obviously it's different from that darker purple but it sort of ties in again that background to the foreground. And I like to do that with my pages to make sure that I don't have too many contrasting colours on my page which sounds ridiculous when you look at my pages and it looks like a rainbow is thrown up on it. Um, but I tend to try and keep the same colours uh, on the page. You can sort of see how that works on this. So with the top stencil you can be really really clever with this and go in with washi tape and mask it off. I'm just being brave and going in and trying to do it. So um, I'm just using the words from the stencil that I want. So I've got art is the ability to see but I actually wanted to to B. So I rubbed out the B and OC and made B instead. Um, the reason I was able to rub that out so well is because obviously my um, background was dry, the acrylic paint was dry, so you can wipe off the acrylic paint and um, blend it into the back, oh, sorry, um, wipe it off and then re-stencil over the top of it, which is one of the reasons I really love working with acrylic paint. You really can't make too much of a mistake with it. So as I was finishing I thought you know there's not enough on this it's not busy enough so I've got these new foam stamps from Flutterby Designs. I really love that these um, crosses mark making type um, stencils or foam stamps are there so I've just put some of those into the background and again because I had ink on my stamp I decided to do the other side too and even just like that I just love looking at those pages in my journal. The final thing I'm doing, just to again blend this into the background somewhat, um, is to put a white border around my letters, just a bit of a drop shadow. Um, I always work on the left hand side, left and bottom. That's just a rule I use to make it easier so I've got everything consistent on my page. And I'm also doing the thinner letters up the top, which probably really didn't need them in the end, um, but I just like having everything kind of look the same and because it's quite a fine white pen I can sort of put that in apart from the T where it sort of just sped out. Um, you can also see on the other side I'm priming my pen on it and now I've got some white splatters on it which again is sort of tying it all in together. Now I cheated slightly because I didn't have any more of that paint out. I didn't want to get out a little bit just to do that so I've just got my paint pen and a purple to fill it in. So this is the final page. I love how it turned out. It was so quick and easy to do and I love that I got two pages for the price of one on a use it up page in my journal. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to next time and I will see you on my channel again soon. Bye for now.